So keeping with the same example as before, we still have a spin one half particle in state ket of psi equals one half ket plus z plus i square root of three divided by two ket of negative z. So now we want to find the probability of measurements of sy, so using s gy device, so sy yields h bar over two. Okay, so we have this definition here. So we know that the ket of y, if we want to express this in terms of the z basis is one over square root plus z plus i over square root of two, sorry, one over square root of two, i over square root of two, negative z. Now for every ket, if you want to move back and forth between a ket to a bra, this is actually very simple. So the corresponding bra vector is going to be one over square root, and now our ket just changes to a bra vector, so plus z, and we gotta do the complex conjugate of anywhere we see i, so we do a negative i, and we have a negative i over square root two bra negative z. So it's just that simple, you just move the kets to bras and you do complex conjugate. So anywhere you have an i, you make it a negative i. Okay, so now we need to find the probability amplitude. So prob amplitude. And we're gonna act this bra on the psi. So we have plus y acting on psi. So for every ket, there is a corresponding bra, and we're gonna actually find this probability amplitude now. So this is equal to this whole term here. So one over square root of two of plus z minus i over square root of two of minus z. And we're gonna multiply that by psi. And now we have psi in terms of z already. So we're just gonna plug this in. So one over two plus z plus i square root three over two negative z. So when we multiply this through, we're gonna have this term here. So it's gonna be one over square root two times one half of plus z plus z. And now this here is really important. So this is just equal to one. And you can kind of think about this as if you were doing the projection back when we were in x, y, z coordinates. So if you do the dot product of i hat dot i hat, that was just one. So imagine some coordinate system. We have the i hat direction and a j hat direction. And remember the dot product is equal to the magnitude divided by cosine of theta. So if theta is pi over two, we're gonna get zero. So the projection of i hat onto j hat, there's no component of i hat that projects the same direction the vector on j hat. So for pi over two, cosine of pi over two is zero. But if you project i hat onto i hat, you just get one because all of i hat is existing along the i hat um, <coughs> um, unit vector here. So just keep this in mind. So i dot i is one and i dot j is zero. So similarly, if we're projecting how much of uh, z is on z, well, it's just one. Okay, and then, so we're gonna multiply through here. But now we're gonna have a plus z. So what's the chance of finding plus z when we project with negative z? And just because of this argument here, that's gonna be zero. So this term won't actually do anything. So let's actually write that out. One over square root two times i square root three over two plus z negative z. Now this whole term is just zero. So we're gonna lose this entire thing here. Okay, so we do this one. And again, we have a negative z and a plus z. So that's gonna be zero. 
we don't even have to write that down for the same reason. But when we go like this, we're going to have a negative i over square root 2 multiplied by i square root 3 over 2 of negative z, the projection of that on negative z, which as before, is just going to be equal to 1. So this whole term here, simplify to 1 over 2 square root of 2 plus, so we can just ignore this now because it goes to 1, plus, so we have i squared is negative 1, making this term positive. So we have a square root of 3 over 2 roots 2. And now we can simplify this a bit. It's 1 over 2 square root of 2, 1 plus square root of 3. <clears throat> so now that we have the probability amplitude to get, so this is our probability amplitude, plus y, so, don't need that there. So now we're going to actually find the probability, and to do that we're just going to multiply this by its complex conjugate. So the probability is plus y, psi, which is multiplied by its complex conjugate, but we have no i's in our term here, so it's just going to be this thing squared. So we're just going to get so, we can say this is how to represent this. So 1 over 2 root 2 times 1 plus square root of 3. <coughs> All squared is at 8. 1 plus 1 over 8 1 plus square root of 3. 1 plus square root of 3. So just multiplying or squaring this term, and then we're going to multiply this term and we will get 1 over 8, 1 plus uh, 2, sorry, square root 3 plus 3, which is equal to 1 over 8, 4 plus 2 root 3. Um, and simplify this even more. So this is equal to one half plus square root three over four, which is 0 0.93. So this is our probability. Okay, so our probability to find a particle in state or psi state, psi state with the answer of sy equals h bar over 2, which is quite large at 0.93. Okay, and now let's consider the other case. So I know that our two possible results for sy, it gives either a plus h bar over 2 or a minus h bar over 2. Uh, just like with the sz case, um, where you get plus h bar over 2 or negative h bar over 2, just like with the sy case, just like with the sx case. And so we already know what this probability is going to be, because it has to be in one of these two. So it's just going to be 1 minus our answer, which was 0 0.93, which is going to be 0 0.07. So this is a probability to find particle um, in state psi with, so with, so this whole thing here except with sy equals negative h bar over 2. Okay, and now we can do the expectation value. Expectation value, value as well. And we find the expectation value for sy. And remember, this is just the average value, which I like to say, which is a lot more descriptive. So this is just equal to 1 half, 3 over 4 times h bar over 2. So remember, um, I'm just using this right here, this form. So you take our probability and you just take on this h bar over 2 term. And we're going to do the same. So here, 
negative 3 over 4 times negative h bar over 2. Um, so here I was just representing this, uh, this term like so. But you could have also just plugged in this number here. And you could have plugged in this number here. And you, you, sh you would have gotten the same thing back. Okay, so negative h bar over 2, but this way you see more mathematically, so we actually get an exact value of square root of 3 over 4 h bar. Okay, thank you for watching and have an excellent day.